Hello everyone, so today we're back with the book Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So in this excerpt from the book, the main character Greg stole his brother's new heavy metal CD to listen with his best friend Rowley. So let's first listen to this one episode to see what is happening with Greg and Rally, And then we will go over some key expressions from the story. Yesterday, Roderick got a new heavy metal CD and it had one of those parental warning stickers on it. I have never gotten to listen to one of those parental warning CDs because mom and dad never let me buy them at the mall. So I realized the only way I was going to get a chance to listen to Roderick's CD was if I snuck it out of the house. This morning, after Roderick left, I called up Rowley and told him to bring his CD player to school. Then I went down to Roderick's room and took the CD off his rack. You're not allowed to bring personal music players to school, so we had to wait to use it until after lunch when the teachers let us outside. As soon as we got the chance, me and Rowley snuck around the back of the school and loaded up Roderick's CD. But Rowley forgot to put batteries in his CD player, so it was pretty much worthless. Then I came up with this great idea for a game. The object was to put the headphones on your head and then try to shake them off without using your hands. The winner was whoever could shake the headphones off in the shortest amount of time. I had the record with 7.5 seconds, but I think I might have shook some of my feelings loose with that one. Right in the middle of our game, Mrs. Craig came around the corner and caught us red-handed. She took the music player away from me and started chewing us out. But I think she had the wrong idea about what we were doing back there. She started telling us how rock and roll is evil and how it's going to ruin our brains. I was going to tell her that there weren't even any batteries in the CD player, but I could tell she didn't want to be interrupted, so I just waited until she was done and then I said, yes ma'am. But right when Mrs. Craig was about to let us go, Rowley started blubbering about how he doesn't want rock and roll to ruin his brains. Honestly, sometimes I don't know about that boy. So let's go over some of the expressions that we went over in this passage. Parental warnings. This refers to a label or sticker that is placed on music albums, especially those with explicit content, to warn potential listeners about the mature or inappropriate themes in the music. Get to. So in this context, get to means having the opportunity or chance to do something. So in the story, Greg says, I have never gotten to listen. So it means, I have never had the opportunity to listen to one of those parental warning CDs. Gonna. So this is a colloquial contraction of going to. It's often used in informal speech to indicate future actions. For example, I was gonna get a chance means I was going to get a chance. Sneak. So this basically means to move in a secretive, quiet, or furtive manner often with the intention of avoiding being noticed or detected. It's typically used when someone is trying to go unnoticed while doing something they might not be allowed to do or when they want to surprise someone. So in the context, the word sneak is used two times, right? First one is sneak the CD out of the house. So sneak something out of a place means to secretly take something from a location without being noticed. So here, Greg took the CD secretly from the house. And the next one is, me and Rally snuck around the back of the school. So this implies that they were trying to go to the back of the school without being observed by others. Call someone up, right? So this is very simply to make a phone call to someone. Take something off. This means to remove something from a location. In the story, Greg went to Roderick's room and removed the CD from the rack. Right, so a rack is a shelf where items are stored or displayed. Load something up. So load up originally means to put or place something onto a vehicle, a machine, or a device, often in preparation for its use. In this context, Greg put the CD into the CD player so that it can be played. Pretty much. So this is a common phrase meaning almost completely or essentially. So in this example, Rally forgot to put batteries in his CD player, so the CD player was almost entirely useless because it couldn't function without batteries. Come up with something. 
So this means to think of or create something, often an idea or a plan. Shake something off. So this means to remove or get rid of something by shaking it. So in the context of the story, they are about to play a game where they try to make the headphones fall off of their heads by shaking their heads vigorously. Have the record. So this means to currently hold the best time or achievement in a particular activity. It's like being the current champion. I had the record with seven and a half seconds, meaning I had the best time of seven and a half seconds. In the sentence, I might have shook some of my feelings loose with that one. Might have shook has to be might have shaken. The phrase I might have shook is a grammatically incorrect form. The correct form is I might have shaken, right? Because to speak grammatically correctly, past participle has to be followed after might have. However, in informal speech, people might use incorrect verb forms like shook instead of the correct shaken. So this happens a lot and can be used in casual conversations. Fillings. This refers to dental fillings, the material used to repair cavities in teeth. So in reality, you can't loosen your dental fillings by shaking your head. But in this example, Greg is over-exaggerating and saying that he shook his head so hard that the fillings in his teeth almost came out of his mouth. In the middle of, this means during a certain time or period, right? So in the middle of our game means during the game we were playing. Catch someone red-handed, to catch someone in the act of doing something wrong or illegal. So imagine the situation where someone is stealing a car and the police happen to drive by and catch him in the act. You can indeed say the police caught him red-handed. Chew someone out. So to chew someone out means to scold or reprimand someone strongly and angrily. So when the teacher caught them red-handed, she chewed them out. I could tell. I could tell means that the speaker was able to understand or realize something. It suggests that the speaker could perceive what was happening or understand a situation based on the context or cues they observed. It's like saying, I could understand or I could see. So imagine you see your friend looking upset. You might say, when I saw his face, I could tell something was bothering him. Or, you're watching a movie with a twist ending and your friend seems surprised. You might say, by the look on your face, I could tell you didn't see that coming. Interrupt. So interrupt means to stop someone from speaking or doing something by interjecting or intervening. So in the book, Greg noticed that the teacher didn't want to be stopped while she was talking. Be about to. So this means that you're just going to do something very soon, like you're on the brink of starting it. It's like being ready to do something right away. So for instance, if you say I was about to leave, it means you are just getting ready to leave in the very near future. Blubber. So this means to cry or sob in a noisy, uncontrolled manner. So right, when the teacher chewed them out for listening to rock and roll, Rally started crying and expressing his concerns about how he didn't want rock and roll music to damage his brain. So that covers the expressions from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. We will continue to go over additional expressions, passages from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book in another video. And before you leave, I recommend that you listen to the story once again to see how your understanding has changed compared to earlier. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.